So APA, Authority of the Freeport Area of Bataan, has a mandate to provide permits, master licenses to mm -hmm. gaming, but within Bataan. But they need a secondary license from Pagcor. Okay. So simple lang ang solution, di ba, ma'am? Allow Pag AFAB and Pagcor to talk. Right. Uh, conclude their 20-year litigation. 20 years na po nag-aaway ang AFAB, yung Bataan Freeport, at saka itong Pagcor with regards to that gaming problem. Diba? So, ngayon, naipit tuloy yung investor. Sabi ko nga, when we were there last 31, I told the investor, actually, this is not your fault. So, you're saying that the investor is innocent? Technically not. He is guilty of a crime not having the right permit, the necessary permit. But he is caught between the legal opinion of AFAB mm -hmm. and PAGCOR. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko nga, the man has put up a huge investment for Bataan. Yeah, but at the end of the day, they were involved in scams. Uh, technically, we'll have to look into that. Online sports betting. Ah, so you're, you're saying, sir... Are you clarifying this and telling us right now that it's not an illegal pogo operation? No, no, no. What we're saying is we've seen offhand some software that are indicative or red flags of uh, illegal online sports betting. No? But ganito kasi yan, Pinky. You own the facility. You have seven locators. So you need... Ang problema dito, sabi ko nga sa kanila kahap, sa noong 31st, you did not do your due diligence. I asked them, did you know that this locator was using this particular application, software? Mm -hmm. No, sir. But I said, that's not enough defense. I said, kung kayo ang nagpapatakbo nitong location, ay ng, ng negosyong ito, you should have inspected all of the softwares that they were using. Because according to PAGCOR, these softwares are not allowed in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Sabi naman ng APA, they have the authority to do that. PAGCOR need, need not uh, mangialam oh, doon sa ano And yun. give them ano. Yes. Uh, but, so, kaya nga sabi ko, ay, sabi ko, kanina when I was listening to them, sabi ko, teka, parang kinakailangan yata mag-usap dito si APA, at saka si Pagcor. It seems like it because they need to get their act together yes. because that confuses you Ako, and it kami, will confuse me too. I was confused talaga. <laughs> kami, confused kami. Sabi, tinanong pa namin yung Pagcor doon. Uh, Ma'am, meron ba itong certification sa inyo? None. Wala. Okay. So, chinek namin yung batas ng AFAB. Oo nga, no? sabi ng batas nila nung kanilang IRR, they need, they need to get a permit from Pagcor. But if it's part of the IRR, then they should get a permit from yes. Pagcor. Mm. Okay. So, naglalaban-laban ngayon yung kanilang mga legal opinion. And according mm -hmm. to the lawyers, they've been at it for 20 years. I said, my God. <laughs> so, kawawa tuloy ngayon yung investment. I mean, the ideas of uh, AFAB, CESA, APECO, Clark, mm -hmm. and Chester, it's a very noble idea. Investment promotion areas. But it doesn't grant them the, uh, the authority to just, you know, do what it, na kung ano lang ang gusto nila Parang gawin. May, may autonomy sila eh. Yes, Parang hindi pwede yung yeah. So they also need to consult national government agencies like and, Pagpor. And Director, isn't it also true that if you, your license, ang lisensya po nila BPO, hindi ho ba? Yes, okay. sa payon. Wala naman silang lisensya ng ay, gaming. Ng gaming, which you're saying is, is this gray ano, now. Gray oh, area. Oh, oh, because they're saying that the Freeport Has doesn't the need... Pagpor. Mm -mm. Sabi ko nga, wag... Huwag nyo nang idahamay ang paok dyan. Basta ang alam namin, ang alam namin, walang permit, nagpapalaro, pogo yan. Mm -mm. So, i-raid namin. Kasi ang sabi ng presidente, close them down. That's what the president said. Then, repeat that again what you said. We need to close down all types of gambling. That is offshore. Mm -mm. 